designed to acquaint you with CMA, a de-icer that can make winter roads significantly safer. CMA is far less corrosive than road salt and is environmentally safe. This video will explain how to use CMA and some of the major differences between CMA and salt. The challenge of removing snow and ice each winter has been hard on crews and even harder on roads and structures. That's because traditional road salt and chloride-based compounds are corrosive. They corrode road surfaces, buildings, and automobiles, and they undermine the steel in bridges. Each year, road salt causes billions of dollars in damage, not to mention damage to the environment and to water supplies due to runoff from salt-treated roadways. Research done by the Federal Highway Administration has led to the development of a new de-icer called CMA, calcium magnesium acetate. Chevron markets CMA under the trade name of Ice Be Gone. Extensive testing in more than a dozen states and Canadian provinces and at the administration's lab has proven CMA is many times less corrosive than salt and is safe for the environment. First, let's discover what CMA is and how it works. It's made from limestone and vinegar, so it's biodegradable. When spread over snow, CMA pellets release heat as they dissolve and burrow to the surface. This process prevents ice from bonding to the road surface and makes snow removal easier. Time-lapse photography demonstrates how a single pellet works when placed on a block of ice. It successfully bores through the ice without leaving the briny residue common with salt. Although CMA bores through ice, it works better if it's applied early, before ice forms, and when snow is beginning to stick to the road surface. Also, CMA lasts longer than salt and provides a residual action to prevent refreezing. Highway departments across the country have turned to CMA to protect major new bridges from the costly damage caused by corrosion. The Zilwaukee Bridge in northern Michigan is one example. Overlander Bridge in Kamloops, British Columbia, and the new River Gorge Bridge in West Virginia are others. Other highway agencies have turned to CMA to prevent further damage to roadways already scarred by salt use. The cost of major repairs is putting additional stress on highway departments already faced with tight budgets. In environmentally sensitive areas, CMA is a good alternative because it is biodegradable and safe for the environment. In places like Lake Tahoe in the west, salt use has killed thousands of trees along highways. By contrast, runoff from CMA poses no threat to vegetation. Use of road salt has also been linked to raising the salinity of drinking water supplies, which health officials warn could pose a long-term hazard, especially for those on low-sodium diets. CMA is an effective de-icer. It is applied like salt, but works differently than salt. It is important for you to know and understand these differences. CMA is easy to use, but until you become more familiar with CMA and how it works, we recommend you use from 25 to 50 percent more CMA than you would salt per application by weight. We have found many users will follow these higher application rates and then gradually reduce as they gain more experience with the product. We started out application rates about four, five, six hundred pounds per lane mile and gradually reduced them down to, I believe the first year was 350 to 400 pounds per lane mile. Well, they started out with 900 pounds per mile and through the years using it, that cut down to 300. A cubic foot of CMA weighs 44 pounds compared to 70 pounds for a cubic foot of salt. That means CMA is lighter, giving denser and more uniform coverage. There are more particles of de-icer per square foot of roadway. As with other de-icers, timing is important with CMA. Apply just as the road surface turns white or snow begins to stick. Premature application may result in product loss from traffic moving the compound off the surface. Late application reduces effectiveness. Spread CMA where you want de-icing action across the whole lane. Don't apply in a windrow since CMA does not form a runny brine. The traffic certainly makes a big difference. Uh, if it's, if it's uh, heavy, it beats it down into the pavement and it seems to make it work faster. Uh, wind's very important. You have to watch uh, which direction it's blowing from and 
how strong the wind is before you apply it. Uh, you don't want it to, to blow right off of the road, so you may have to move left or right depending on the wind so you get good coverage. After application of CMA, the snow is lighter and fluffier. It takes on an oatmeal appearance. CMA treated areas will not contribute to vehicle corrosion. There is less danger of skidding as well. CMA sticks to the highway surface, providing long-lasting anti-icing action. It is better than salt at preventing packing. And because it continues working for a longer period, it requires fewer applications. This means that the amount of CMA used over the winter will be about the same as salt. Reapply CMA when new snow accumulation shows a tendency to pack or bond to the surface. If the plow is called, sometimes uh, one application will do. Sometimes we'll wait a couple hours and make the second application if needed. Remember that CMA treated snow takes on an oatmeal color and becomes fluffy. So when plows move in... There is more snow when they go through the CMA section um, because of the fact that it doesn't dissipate or turn into water right away. The snow is there, but it's loose. So when they plow that section, they probably have, percentage-wise, I don't know, 30% more snow. The benefits of CMA treatment compared to salt are evident, even before plowing. Even though there's more snow in the CMA section, there's better traction, and there's no swerving. Sometimes when brakes are applied at excessive speeds, which I've done at probably 40 or 50 miles an hour, and I've had no swerving at all. Sometimes in the chloride sections, um, if there's a lot of snow on the ground, two or three inches, have a tendency to drag your car, pull it from lane to lane. And roadways treated with CMA will not bleach surfaces or obscure road markings like salt. CMA-treated surfaces often appear darker than salt-treated road surfaces. The mechanics of dispensing is fundamentally the same as applying road salt. However, it is very important the equipment be calibrated for CMA. Spinner speeds can be adjusted to give adequate coverage depending on application rates and snow plow speed. Because CMA is lighter um, than salt or any other chlorides, when we apply it to the roadway, we have to slow down the spinner speed. Because of being it so light, it will just, it just, once it hits the road, it'll just boom, 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 bounce off. So we do lower the spinner, and we do close the gate down in the back, but we still will be able to apply the rates that we need to be effective in the snow. CMA will last indefinitely in storage if kept dry. Loaded trucks should be protected from the weather. CMA has been thoroughly tested according to OSHA and EPA standards. It is a non-toxic and non-hazardous compound. But when loading CMA, there may be some dust. If so, take the same common sense precautions you would to protect yourself as in any other job. Wear a paper dust mask. No special skin protection is necessary. But wear gloves if you have sensitive skin or wash your hands after working with CMA. Let's review the characteristics of CMA and its proper use. CMA is non-corrosive, preventing damage to bridges and to highways. It is biodegradable, posing no threat to the environment. Like road salt, CMA works best above 20 degrees. To be effective, CMA should be applied at the beginning of a storm, before ice forms, and before traffic packs down the snow. CMA-treated snow becomes fluffy and turns an oatmeal color, signaling time to plow. It works longer than salt, requiring less frequent application. It may take some experience to determine the right amount of CMA to use, depending upon climate, traffic volume, and road surface. Road crews can use existing equipment to apply CMA. However, spinner speed may need adjustment because of CMA's lower density, wind dispersion, and surface conditions. Trucks should be kept out of the weather to keep the CMA dry. When kept dry, CMA can be stored indefinitely. You will notice an immediate difference when using CMA on any road or highway. Snow removal will be easier. The effect of CMA will last longer and CMA's unique properties will be easier on road surfaces, on vehicles, and on the environment. CMA, the clear choice for winter roads.